Hello and welcome gorgeous Cancer to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own heart, with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You might see a sign or a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards that resonates for you. You may also like to think of a question you'd like to receive an answer to or guidance on. And by the end of the reading, that answer will be revealed in the cards. So let's take a look at your first message. So I'm seeing a connection here in the image. Law of grace. Be your divine essence. Dissolve all in grace. So we have a beautiful connection here that is meant to happen. You are meant to meet this person. It could be romantic in nature. I do see that for someone. But I do also sense for someone there is going to be a connection that is made that's more platonic. It could be a friend, uh, someone that you just, it's a soulmate connection and a soulmate does not have to be romantic in nature. So this is a powerful connection that you're making with someone. Uh, maybe you've already recently met them or they've been in your life for a while. Um, but I do see a newness for someone here as well. Um, and this is a beautiful connection. It's in grace. It's it's uh, going to be a positive union. There's going to be a positive deal, contract, agreement that you have with this person. Um, something like this is also happening. So not only a connection being made, but I also see... Um, that there's a deal, contract, agreement that's happening uh, for someone. Really important connection being made here. Listen to your heart. Awaken psychic abilities and tune into the infinite. So listening to your heart is how spirit speaks to you. Awakening your abilities, awakening your gifts, skills, working toward achieving a goal, um, becoming proficient in something here. This is what I'm seeing. So if you keep on repeating, if you keep on practicing, you're going to get great abilities. Um, tuning in to all that is. This is about going beyond a current set of circumstances. This is about you holding the um, you holding the answer or the key um, that will be accessed when you go above the mundane, when you see things from a higher perspective. Mahatma energy, build your light body, accelerate your ascension, going to the next level, making sure that you are on the right track uh, to be in the flow of success for your life is what I'm seeing. Okay, so it looks like that is happening. There is an acceleration of energy. Things will start to step up. The pace of things will start to accelerate. You'll see over the next few weeks and months and you'll be on your way. There will be a shower of blessings that you are that's coming your way, a miracle right at your door here, the shower of blessings energy. Just open yourself up to receive and when you do pay it forward. Let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. Okay, let's take a look here. So we have Finding Your Bliss. I am following a path I love and I am fully aligned to my soul purpose. Finding your bliss. What is that? Only you know. You and your creator, you and spirit, you and God know this. And so it's accessing that, listening to your heart, you know, going back to this card here. How, how do you access that? Listening to your heart. When you feel aligned, that's the way to go. So there could be some big changes coming soon to align you with your bliss. Maybe some important communications as well. I embrace the element of air and I'm open to all knowledge and wisdom. So you could be learning or gaining wisdom and knowledge yourself. That could be happening here. At day's end, rest. So there is a call to relax, to rest. There might be an ending that's taking place. I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. So calming the mind, calming the heart. 
and emotions and finding peace and maybe that's in nature for you. The third eye chakra, I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. So there is um, a vision that you have had or are going to have where you will see where you it's almost a, you will see where you're wanting to go. You will see where your higher self is wanting to take you and you'll see the path forward. So things are going to become clearer. If you are confused at the moment, if you're not sure about your purpose, where your direction in life is going, know that things are going to become clear. Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. There's going to be rejuvenation. There's going to be a freshness come into your life. You might be clearing the past as well, letting go of what no longer serves you so you can heal the present. So focus should be on the present moment and on healing. Passion and pleasure. Save your life. Have fun. Be with people that you enjoy being with. Be in social situations that you enjoy. Do things, learn things for pleasure and passion. Maybe a refocus or a realignment on these things is important at the moment in your life. You are going to overcome obstacles. You can overcome anything. That's the message here. Get ready for abundance to flow. You will be overcoming this obstacle, whatever it represents for you. There is a breakthrough coming. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss, follow your heart, follow your intuition, go down that path. Guidance for cancer, please, spirit. Okay, let's see. So we have an opportunity here. Expand your horizons. An opportunity is coming your way. You're going to be able to expand into new ventures, new avenues. Doors will open for you, expanding your horizons. If you are feeling entrapped, if you're feeling like you have no freedom, there is an expansion that's coming to look forward to. A freedom, free spirit, to be your own person, doing something more independently, perhaps being your own person, you know, going along these lines. Um, this is what's important in the week and weeks ahead. Being true to you. Forgiveness may be necessary for yourself or for someone so you can heal, so you can move forward. Compassion and kindness. Inspiration begin now. So you're going to be inspired to take some kind of action, something you'll be inspired to do, inspired to say, begin now. You know, it's going to be a, an initial prompt. A spirit's going to give you an initial prompt and that's, that's the direction you need to go in. Take that inspiration, take that call to action and move in that direction. Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. The Nine of Angels, the Guardian. You have protection over your mind, over your heart, over your situation. You can work with your guardian angels or past over loved ones, actively talking to them, meditating on them, communicating with them. There may be a codependency here, something to reflect upon, perhaps. Also, this card can represent you leaving a situation that you felt safe in. So you can be more authentic, so you can follow your dreams, so you can fulfill your destiny ultimately. The universe, this is about expansion. It's about completing a cycle so you can expand into a newness, a beautiful newness. 
You are going to have success. Do not doubt this. Do not have it in your mind as a doubt, a seed of doubt, nothing. You will be successful. You will have victory. There is a smooth ride ahead for you. It towards joy, moving into joy. This may also mean a social invitation or a get together, a gathering is important this week for you. There may be a period of withdrawal. This may be where you are at at the moment, but um, you, it might come on this week where you know that there needs to be a withdrawal phase and that is perfectly fine before the success, before an upliftment, before the blessings flow. Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your heart, with your intuition. See how this resonates for you. You can trust your own intuition. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.